Requirements Elicitation Techniques Once the requirements sources have been identified, the software engineer can start eliciting requirements information from those sources. Requirements are hardly ever elicited ready-made. Instead, software engineers elicit information from which they formulate the requirements. When we talk about requirements elicitation techniques or techniques in general, I want you to remember that we are talking from the engineering perspective. By that I mean engineering offers you several techniques that you can use in various situations or contexts. So, don't only think of your own company's business here, but try to visualize every type of software out there. Think of something like Microsoft Word. This is where you are developing a product for the market, and you can't talk to every user in the world, and you don't have someone to tell you directly their needs. So, you're the one responsible for coming up with new creative ideas for your software. Think of software you're developing for small businesses. This is where you only deal with the customer. Think of software for big businesses where the different departments managers might have conflicting needs. Think of non-profit software. Think of governmental software. Think of something like Facebook. You get your money from the advertisers and not from a single customer or user. Anyway, you get the idea. Be open-minded. There are several elicitation techniques. Analysts should pick one or more techniques according to the project's needs. Each technique provides a different way to collect information. It's like asking different types of questions every time. Selecting an approach depends on nature of the system being developed. For example, a UI-intensive system needs a different approach than an embedded system background and experience of stakeholders. If the stakeholder is a very hands-on person, then prototyping and simulating would work. For non-computer savvy persons, documents would be necessary. The criticality of the requirements. The more critical the requirements, the more than one technique to confirm the collected information is needed. This CWI book concentrates on techniques for getting human stakeholders to articulate requirements relevant information. However, to make this course as complete as possible, I will add other techniques that don't necessarily require human interaction to elicit requirements. Let's dive into the many requirements elicitation techniques.